Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask all who are able to please rise. Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Good evening and welcome to Rochester Community High School for tonight's non-conference matchup between the Winnemag Lady Warriors and your Rochester Lady Zebras. At this time, we'd like to meet the starters first for Winnemag. At four, a senior wearing number one, Piper Link. At guard, a senior, number two, Maggie Smith. At guard, a sophomore, number three, Candace Croft. At a forward, a senior, number five, Lily Bennett. And at guard, a freshman, number 12, Sadie Popejoy. The Warriors are coached by longtime Zebra Tony Stasiak, assisted by Morgan Ruff, Stephanie Smith, and Jake Ruff. And now, let's meet the starters for your Lady Zebras. At guard, a freshman, number two, Aubrey Wilson. At guard, a junior, wearing number three, Riley Levenger. At a forward, a freshman, number 15, Jaden Field. At forward, a junior, number 25, Audrey Bollinger. And at guard, a junior, number 33, Ella McCarter. The Zebras are coached by Joel Burris, assisted by Jake Nye, Nate Basham, and Joe McCarter. Tonight's officials, Lynn Blevins, Brian Elliott, and Jack Rupley. Let's go to do it for the pregame show brought to you by Jennings Insurance and in Argus and Rochester going beyond the expected for you. Tonight's officials, Lynn Belvis and Brian Elliott and Jack Rupley, the officiating crew tonight as we get ready to get things going here at Rochester High School. Randy and Val, Steve's on the camera as usual, so we appreciate everybody joining us here, even not just Rochester, but all over. Everybody's joining in on the web 
the wide world web. Congratulations to <laughs> whatever Fort Wayne, fun. Fort Wayne Lures and East Central won state football championships earlier today. Croft and McCarter battle for the jump, and Winnemac controls it quickly over to Pope Joy. Pope Joy has the basketball. Bound back over to, to the swing it to Smith. Maggie Smith with the basketball now for the Warriors. They give it up to Pope Joy. Back up to Smith. Right side they go to Croft. Croft goes down low. Here's a two-footer on the way for Bennett and off the mark, but an offensive rebound already for Winnemac. Willie Benner rarely shoots. <laughs> yeah. She's 10 seconds into the game. And here is Pope Joy, three from the left wing, off the mark, no good, and the rebound comes away to Bollinger. Bollinger rips that one rebound down, and now he'll give it off to Clevenger. Clevenger back over to Wilson. Now she'll start. Warriors are going to start out in a man defensively against the Zebras. Here's McCarter, now back up top to Wilson. They come to Clevenger off the screen. Clevenger, one dribble, now swings it back up top to Wilson. Back over to Clevenger. She'll take a three on the way. Good. Riley Clevenger hits her first three of the night. Zebra's taking her lead, 3-0. Pope Joy got screened off, and that created the space that Clevenger needed. Quickly down the floor of the Warriors. Pope Joy has it now up top. That's Croft with it. Croft swings it back over to Smith. Smith up top. Trying to go down low to Bennett. Can't get it to her. Now gives it off to Piper Link. Now they go to Smith in the block. Kick it back out. Now they swing it. Here's Link with it. Link at the elbow. Now one dribble, a couple dribbles in. Tries to uh, pass it back out. She does get it out to Smith. Good defense by McCarter. Three on the way for Croft off the front of the iron. No good. Long rebound will go out of bounds. It'll be Zebra basketball. Okay, this might be a weird comment, but I'm going to say it anyway. Okay, go ahead. Croft reminds me of Emma Hodgeshell a little bit. A little bit. I would agree with that. Uh, both, you know, are really, they can go downhill. They're s stronger than you might think. Uh, Croft is a little bit better shooter. Emma might be a little bit fin better finisher at the net. At McCarter the brings it up to cross the pressure put on by Croft. Now here's Clevenger at the volleyball line. Now they go to Wilson. Wilson comes to the near side to McCarter. McCarter, five feet behind the three-point line, dribbles into the top of the key, gives it off to Clevenger. Clevenger, back to McCarter, right wing, and they're trying to go down low to Bollinger. They can't get it to her. Now McCarter's in trouble. She's going to have to hurry. She finally gets it away to Wilson. Wilson, white ring, six minutes to go here in the opening quarter, 3 nothing. still Zebras. Clevenger, left wing, off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes away to Link. Good pass by Wilson, though. Quickly head to Smith. Smith has it on the right side. Now she'll bring it back over. Here's Croft with it. Croft back to Smith. Now they'll go to Pope Joy on the right side. Pope Joy against Clevenger. Cross-court pass to Croft. Tries to go down low to Link. They can't. Now she'll get it to take a running jumper up off the rim. Good. Piper Link. It's her first field goal. It's 3-2. to two. Here comes the full-court pressure by the Warriors. It's w Wilson with the basketball. Wilson against Smith. Now she picks up her dribble. Now in the backcourt. They're going to have to hurry. And Clevenger finally gets it across the timeline. McCarter, three from the left wing. Off the mark, no good. Rebound fought for, and Bollinger is going to pick up her first. Team first to the quarter. Battle for the rebound, and unfortunately knocks over the Winnemac Warrior. And the first foul of the game goes to Rochester. Substitution coming in. First sub for the Warriors. Number 15, Marissa Iverson. And sitting down will be... Bennett. And yeah, that's not unusual for Iverson. She's their yeah. sixth uh, player. Here comes Smith with the basketball for the Warriors. Comes to the near side. Now to Croft. Croft back up top to Pope Joy. Pope Joy at the volleyball line to Croft left wing. Zebra's in that 2 3. Now they go to Smith. Smith falls down, gets back up, holding the dribble. Now she's double teamed. She's going to have to get rid of it. She does. Now up to Pope. Oh, that is, uh, yeah, that's Pope Joy just behind the free throw line, and she's good. See, Winnemac takes the lead 4-3. Here's pressure put on and a five-second count. Turnover on the Zebras. Zebras didn't really set any screens, get anybody open. Coach Burr is not happy on the sideline. Rochester is doing well on the closeouts. but There's a wide open light and input into Piper Link. They forgot about Piper Link, and she lays it in. It's 6-3. Here's Wilson. She gets the inbounds from Clevenger. Wilson will go all the way. Wilson. Crosses back over, now kicks it out. From the left wing, it's McCarter. No good, and fought for a rebound, and now we're going to have a push against Field. And a first foul on her, but second on the Zebras in the quarter. 4.20 to go here in the opening quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Winnipeg leads 6-3. 
Rochester broke the press pretty well there. Yeah, they did. Had an open look. I'm thinking if I'm Wilson, I go ahead and take that. And she kind of kicked it back out. That might be the freshman experience. Here's Smith with a mask ball. Now down in the corner to Pope Joy. Yep, she drug that foot. Turnover. Winnemack. 4 7 to go. Here comes the pressure again by the Warriors. One turnover for each team. Pope Joy will guard the out of bounds. In, trying to get it inbound is Clevenger. Goes over the top to McCarter. McCarter then throws it over the top as she was falling down. And Field has it. Kicks it back out to McCarter. Right wing. McCarter at the elbow. Kicks it back up top to Clevenger. Dribbles in. Now out to McCarter. Wide open three for McCarter. No good. Rebound fought for. Ball's loose. Field picks it up. And now we're going to have... A foul against Winnemac, I believe, and that's going to be their first of the quarter. Sadie Popejoy picks up her first foul. Coming out will be Candace Croft and 25, Corinne Ulrich, another sophomore coming in for Coach Stasiak. Well, it's Here's good to see Ellen McCarter be aggressive. I the shots are eventually going to fall. She's too good of a shooter. Clevenger gets it in to Wilson. Back to Clevenger. Three on the way. No good. Bollinger with a long rebound. Bollinger keeps it alive for the Zebras. Now gives it to Clevenger. Clevenger goes to the left side. Now to McCarter. McCarter has it. McCarter, top the key. Picks up her dribble. Going to have to hurry. And she gets it to Wilson on a handoff. Looks like a quarterback there. Handing it off to Wilson. Now back to Clevenger. She beats one defender. Pull up jumper in the lane. Runs in and out. No good. Rebound fought for. And comes away to the Winnemac Warriors. Oh, that was dangerous. That was very dangerous. Iverson threw it right underneath her own basket, and nobody was there for Rochester to pick it off. Just laid there for Pope a second. Pope Joy over the top to uh, Ulrich. Ulrich back up top now to Smith. Back to Ulrich looking down low. They're trying to get it into Iverson. Not right at the angle. Now they get it to Link. She goes to Iverson. Bounce pass behind her. She goes up. Somehow musters it in. Marissa Iverson with two. Eight to three. Munamak. Here's Wilson breaking the timeline. And now we're going to have a blocking foul against Winnemac. It's going to be on Maggie Smith. Going to be her first team second. Eight to three with 2.45 to go here in the opening quarter. Coming in for the first time will be Brody Goodman. Goodman will come in. Pope Joy sits down. Goodman's been getting more playing time of late, and she is she can shoot the three. Coach Stasiak, anytime he can go deep in his bench, that always is helpful. Here is McCarter on the left side. McCarter then is going to be called for a push off, and it's going to be McCarter's first and the third on the Zebras. 237 remaining here in this first quarter. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. Non-conference basketball, but uh, this one's been a good one. 8-3, Winnemac leads on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Here's Winnemac across the timeline, guarded by the 2-3 zone of the Zebras. Over the top they go. Now they bring it back to Smith. Smith leaves it for Ulrich. Ulrich back up top to Piper Link. Link has it back to Ulrich, left side. Now back up top. That is Goodman. Goodman trying to work it in, and there's a steal on the pass. Clevenger with the basketball. Clevenger one on two, throws it up. No good, and a rebound comes to Maggie Smith. Smith she with the she basketball. She was as close to the basket as she thought she yeah. was. Now they kick it left side. Winnemac with it, and she loses it, and it's going to go in the backcourt. Ulrich dribbles it off her foot, and Croft will come back in quickly. For Ulrich, I'm going to guess. Defensive intensity has been good for Rochester the last two possessions. Yep. Coach they've Stasiak. kept the ball on one side of the court and kept Winnemac from getting a reversal. Pope Joy re-enters and coming in for the first tonight, first time tonight, a junior number 24, Kaylin O'Connor. And O'Connor's another girl who can score in buckets in the paint. 152 to go. Here's McCarter with it right through her hands. Ball's loose on the ground. Wilson picks it up. Minute 45. Here's Clevenger into McCarter. Free throw line jumper. Good for Ella. Ella's got her first two of the night. Eight to five. Three point Winnemac lead. Here's Croft with it. Now over to Pope Joy. Pope Joy looking down low at Iverson. Can't get it to her. Now they swing it back up top to Goodman. Now they go into Iverson at the elbow. Iverson kicks it back out. Croft. Running jumper in the lane. Uh, no good. Last touch by the Zebras. It'll be Winnemac basketball. Uh, that was kind of a lucky break for yeah. Winnemac there. That was, 
Croft to inbound. Croft just kind of threw herself in the lane. Croft into the corner. Goodman, foot on the three-point line, no good. McCarter battles for the rebound, and she pulls it down. Good strong rebound by McCarter in traffic. Minute 10, here's where Coach Burris said, told us earlier that he wants to uh, get the last shot. We'll see what Winnemac does defensively. And Winnemac is in the man, and they're going to put a little pressure up top. Here's Wilson. Wilson will go around, right hand or left hand layup up and good. Aubrey, Aubrey saw a great lane and took advantage of it. She has her first two of the night. It's eight to seven. No reason to hold the ball for the rest of the quarter when you get that shot. Yeah. Here's Pope Joy with the basketball. She travels. Guards have been active. Yes, they have been. Defensively, especially. So Goodman will come out, and Maggie Smith will come back in. Again. Here is Clevenger to inbound. Winnemac putting full court pressure on man pressure. They get it in to McCarter. McCarter then is going to be fouled, yeah. and that one's going to be Pope on Joy. Candace Croft. Her first, team third, 40.8 seconds to go. We'll do it again. Winnemac Clevenger. Eight points and six of their eight points are in the paint. We talked about that before yeah. the game. There's Wilson against Smith. Wilson gets it across the timeline. Now McCarter. McCarter. Cro Coach Stasiak telling Croft, get up on her. Wilson, or excuse me, that's McCarter to Clevenger. Has the ball knocked loose. Clevenger picks it back up. She's guarded by Pope Joy. Now McCarter with 18 seconds. Back over to Wilson with 15. Wilson, left side. Looking to get things going at 10. Here they go. Here's Clevenger with it up top with nine. Clevenger to McCarter with seven. McCarter down to Clevenger. Three, fakes a three. She's double teamed. Now McCarter will fire it at the buzzer off the mark. No good, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. At the end of one complete on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, a Winnemac eight, Rochester seven. Second quarter after this from Rochester High School, Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. At Rochester High School, the first quarter belongs to the Winnemac Warriors, but just by one, they had a five-point lead at one point, but Z was able to cut into that and now just trail by one as we head to the second quarter. It'll be Zebra basketball to start the second quarter. Val, the big point is I think uh, both teams kind of kind of rusty a little bit handling the basketball, but the big difference is Winnemac getting those uh, uh, paint points. Right, and so even though neither Smith nor Croft has scored yet, right. Winnemac has the lead. Uh, they're eventually going to have to get going, but so far so good if you're a Lady Warrior fan. Clevenger will inbound right up to midcourt. She's guarded by Pope Joy. It's tipped, but Wilson will go get it. Wilson guarded by Iverson. Gets a screen. Mia Hottishell checks in at the quarter break for Rochester. And a travel on Wilson. Another turnover for the Zebras. But I do like the idea of Aubrey going downhill yeah. uh, because right. of her strength. And uh, she's a tough matchup. Here was Croft with the basketball now for the Warriors. Go right side to Smith. Smith right in front of the Zebra bench. We'll bring it back up top to the top of the key. Smith guarded by Wilson. Now down to Pope Joy. Pope Joy. Yep, she traveled. A little yeah. delayed there, but the official caught it. Coach Stasia kind of going with more like a five-out set yeah, there. Yeah, trying to spread uh, it out a little bit, maybe looking for some driving lanes. Right, he put Link in the corner. The only thing about Link is she's not known for shooting that corner shot, so you can kind of – Ignore her, or at least dare to make they one. Throw over the top to Wilson, and Wilson has to go get it, and she fouls Piper Link. So Aubrey Wilson going to pick up her first, first of the quarter. Uh, five turnovers for Winnemac, four turnovers for Rochester so far. There's Croft with the basketball now. She'll run the point. Croft will come up, a double screen up top. Croft rolls now to Pope Joy. Pope Joy gives it back to Smith behind her. Smith. Good, good team defense by Drive the left there. side. Throws up a shot in the paint. No good. Bollinger goes to get the rebound. And it's going to be a last touch by Pope Joy. It'll stay with Rochester. Because they they reacted to the screen really well. Yeah. And, and then Aubrey hustled back to get to the spot. Full court press put in. Again, the man press. As Clevenger will beat Pope Joy down the sideline. Now they'll set up the half court for Zebras. McCarter with the top of the key. Still 8-7 here in the, early in the second quarter. Now they give it back to Clevenger. Clevenger stills on that right wing. Now gives it to McCarter in the corner. She'll dribble into the paint. Jump stop. Can't find anybody to get the ball to. Now finally finds Wilson. Wilson with it top of the key. Wilson drives the left side, gives it to Hottishell. Hottishell 
into the free throw line. <coughs> into Clevenger. Clevenger then is going to be tied up. It'll be a turnover as it'll go back to Winnemac. Six fifty here in the second quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Zebras trail by one. I think you get kind of a look there in that pick and pop. Yeah. And just, again, I, I get it. It wasn't a wide, wide open shot, but sometimes that's the best shot you're going to get in that position. Again, the double screen up top. Then Croft picks it up, gives it back over to Smith. Down and Pope Joy in the left wing. Back to Smith up top. Really nice close to a walk by Croft there. Right side now to Croft. Croft splits the defense up top. Ball goes loose right into the hands of Ella McCarter. McCarter quickly ahead to Wilson. Wilson. Now back over to McCarter. McCarter, top of the key. She'll drive, come to a jump stop, loses it. Ball's loose. Pick back up now to Clevenger. Clevenger in the Zebras. They tr she drives in, kicks it out, and now a foul coming on Iverson. That's going to be Iverson's first, team first of the quarter. 6-12 to go here in this first half. Still 8-7, to seven, almost two minutes gone here in the second quarter, and neither team has scored. Hottishell to inbound. Hottishell gets it tipped in the top and then goes into the hands of Wilson. Wilson over to McCarter. McCarter, 15-footer, air balls it. Picks it up, though, does Mia Hottishell. She throws up, and we're going to have a jump ball. It'll stay with Rochester. It'll be Zebra basketball underneath their own basket. Clevenger to inbound. Over the top to McCarter. And now we're going to have a foul against... Beyond Croft. Croft. And that's going to be Croft's second. Warrior, Team Warrior, second. 15 yards for pass interference. <laughs> yeah, that's more what it looked like was pass interference. Here's Hottishell looking to get it in. They get it in. A bowlinger wide open underneath. Can't make it, but a foul coming against Iverson. Iverson will pick up her second. Team third of the quarter. But, wow, Bollinger had a, a wide open moment as she kind of bobbled the basketball. She was able to regain it, go back up, get fouled. She'd go to the free throw line. First free throws of the night for either team coming here with Bollinger. 6 one to go. Looking to tie, possibly even take the lead. Bollinger's first one short. Coach Daziak going to his bench. He'll bring in O'Connor, Ulrich, and Bennett as Link will sit down, Iverson sits down, and so does Croft. And Coach Daziak wants a 30-second timeout with 6.01 to go here in the second quarter. 8-7 Winamax. See if we can get something going here. As, uh, we're kind of at a stalemate here lately, Val. Right, and okay, who's going to, with this group of five, we're Winamax, who's going to score? Yeah. And it's it's going to have to be Pope Joy. So I think it's, I'm curious to know if Coach Stasek was maybe calling yeah. like an offensive set once we get the ball back. Here's what we want to do. It's rare to have both Croft and Smith at the uh, on the bench one. at the same time, as well as Link. Bollinger short on the first one. Smith with the rebound. Maggie will bring it across the timeline. She's guarded by Clevenger. Loses it. It's tipped. Now goes off to Pope Joy. Pope Joy back to Smith. Pope Joy. Smith, excuse me. Smith is out there, yeah. Smith. Ball's loose, and now we're going to have a foul against Winnemac. That's going to be their fourth. And that one's going to be against O'Connor. Yeah, it is coming against O'Connor. Bollinger will come out. Field will come in. Full court press put in by the Warriors. McCarter will look to inbound. McCarter underneath the basket. So Winnemac goes with a bigger lineup, and then Coach Burris counters getting Jaden Field back in there. Here is Clevenger. Clevenger breaks it. Cross-court pass stolen by Smith. That's got to go up. Smith with right. the basketball. Clevenger's got to shoot that. Smith kicks it back out. Pope Joy, three on the way for her. Off the back of the top, the backboard. Wilson with a long rebound. Wilson goes coast to coast. Layup up and too hard. Field there for a rebound. Has her shot blocked. Gets her own rebound. Last touched by the Winnemac Warriors. Good defense by O'Connor to get back. Right. That, that reminded me of that play in the Winnem in the McConaughey game yeah. when Clevenger took a, a crazy bounce off a rebound for yeah. an easy layup at the other end, and it almost happened again. Here's Clevenger with the basketball on the inbound. Clevenger picks up her dribble. Now gives it off to Wilson, top of the key. Now back to Clevenger, guarded by Pope Joy. Goes around her, throws up a running jumper, and gets it to go. I don't know how she did, but Zebra's taking one-point lead, 9-8. to eight. That's a shot that she would not have made last year. 
And we have a timeout on the floor. And it's going to be a shoe timeout for Onamac Warrior. First Rochester points in three and a half minutes. Okay. So Warriors will bring back in Goodman as Popejoy now will get a breather. So now who scores for Winnemac? Yeah, it's been five minutes since Winnemac last scored, but they're still only down by one. Ulrich with the basketball. She travels as she tries to drive the paint or drive the sideline. Turnover on the Warrior. You know, Coach Coach Chris Kindig was very complimentary of Rochester's defense uh, on Tuesday. Here's Talk Wilson. Wilson almost beat everybody back again. Had an opportunity. Kicks it back out to Hottishell. Hottishell has it stripped. Now into the hands of Wilson. Wilson, top of the key to McCarter. McCarter, right side. McCarter takes her down to the paint and the travel. She just she, she dribbled one too many times, got underneath, and then tried to back her way in and unfortunately had already picked up the basketball. Well, that was a good defense by Corinne Ulrich, yeah. too. I mean, she yeah. stayed with her. Here comes the double screen up top for Smith. Now she hits it over the right side to Goodman, and we're going to have a foul against Rochester. It's going to be their second, and the foul is going to be on Hottishell. Her first is going to be out of bounds to Winnemac right in front of the Zebra bench with 4.31 to go here in the second quarter. Just 9-8. to eight. Our score is Winnemac. Rochester leads by one. Here is Smith with it. Goes, tries to go to Goodman, and we're going to have a tie-up. It'll stay with Winnemac. So it'll be out of bounds to Winnemac underneath her own basket. 9-8, our score on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Smith gets it in. Now they swing it back up top. They give it back to Smith. She'll fire a three on the inbound pass. No good. Jaden Field with a rebound. Field gives it off to Hottishell. Throws it ahead to Wilson. Wilson, left-hand layup, and she's going to be fouled by Maggie Smith. And that's going to be her second team fifth. So Rochester at the line the rest of the quarter. And now Aubrey Wilson, all her points the other night at Tibby Valley came from the free throw line. She has two here. Try to extend this one-point lead for the Zebras. Free throw in a quiet gym. Got it to drop. 10 to 8. So the Lamer comes in for Winnemac for the first time. And Bollinger back in on the zebra side. So Bollinger yeah. and Field both back on the floor for Rochester. Rashai Lamer, she knows, she knows what she's doing out there. Yeah. She, she doesn't make mistakes. But the dilemma for Coach Stasiak is when do you bring Croft back in the game with the two fouls? Yeah. Wilson makes both free throws. Three-point lead for the Zebras, 11-8. Because their offense just is out of sorts right it now. Is, it is. You need your point guard, but she's got two fouls. Ulrich has it. Now down to O'Connor. O'Connor in the corner. And she tries to go over the top, and it's going to be stolen by Field. Field with the basketball. Now off to Clevenger. That's Clevenger. Just really good team defense by the Lady Z's. Clevenger, top of the key. Clevenger, now to Wilson. Wilson goes around the left side. Well, back to Clevenger. Tries to go to the pick and pop there to Bollinger, but the ball's loose, and now Riley Clevenger going to pick up her first foul, and the Zebra's third of the quarter. Good recovery by, I think that was O'Connor, and I think with Goodman, both of them just uh, got back to, you know, they just recovered because Clevenger had to step. Bennett comes out, and Piper Link will come back in for the Winnemac Warriors. Here is Goodman with the basketball. Goodman to the left side, tries to go down low to the link, and it's kicked by McCarter. It'll be Winnemac out of bounds on the sideline. So Smith and Croft both on the bench right now. Winnemac only trailing by three. Popejoy also on the bench. All yes. three of them are on. Yeah. I, I can't – it's probably doubtful that all three of them have been on the bench at the same time. Link with the basketball, season. tries to kick it back out. She does get it to Lamer. Lamer then is double team. She brings it back up top. Now Goodman has it. Goodman against Clevenger. They give it to Piper at the free throw line. She puts one dribble down, goes up, good. Piper. Well, there's the first points of the quarter for Winnemac. 
And then they cut the lead to one, 11 to 10. Over the top, McCarter to Wilson. Wilson against Link, now down to Field. Field up and good. That's how you run the press break. And 13 to 10, back to a three-point zebra lead. The freshmen are learning. Here's Goodman with it. Now she goes left side to Lamer. Lamer will dribble back to the top of the key. She'll give it off to, oh, uh, excuse me, that's Ulrich. Now into Goodman. Goodman, right wing. They go to Piper Link. Ball's knocked loose. It's on the ground, picked up by Bollinger. That was Riley Clevenger who made yep. it happen defensively. Wilson with the basketball. Two and a half to go here in the first half. Because Link is their go-to with this group of five on the floor. A Carter gives it off to Clevenger. They're trying to go to either Field or Bollinger down low. Clevenger at the free throw line. Picks her dribble up. Now gives it off to Wilson. Wilson around the screen. Wilson up off the glass. Too hard. And the rebound comes away to Winnemac. And we're going to have a foul. Uh, I think the foul is actually going to come against Wilson. But uh, Jaden Field knocked down a Winnemac Warrior and got a stare down from the official. <laughs> and the foul was on Wilson. That's going to be their second, team fourth. I loved everything about that except for the finish. Yeah. She had she had the right, absolutely the right idea. Hunter will come in and Wilson will sit down with two fouls. 2.08 to go here before halftime. 13-10, Zebra's lead on the Rochester glass scoreboard. You get the, you get the feeling Rochester's just really, really outplayed Winnemac this quarter, but they've only outscored him 6-2. Field steps into the pass, steals it. Looked like a great uh, a DB there in the, in the backfield just reading the pass. Turnover number 11 for Winnemac. Here is McCarter with the basketball. McCarter around the screen. McCarter then is going to be fouled, and that's going to be on Goodman. And it's going to be her first, but that will send Zebras to the line, and Ella McCarter will go to shoot her first free throws. Two for four so far for the Zebras in this quarter. Again, Winnemac hanging around. Zebras only with a three-point lead. McCarter can stretch it to the biggest lead with five if she makes both of these. First one's good. McCarter's got three. 14 to 10, our score here at Rochester High School. Second one on the way from Ella McCarter. She didn't score against Valley, and that's her first point tonight. So hopefully this will get her going. And sometimes when you're in a shooting slump, you just make a couple free throws, and that'll really help you out. She's got four now, and Ms. McCarter, two free throws and a field goal. As the lead now is five, Winnemac saves it from going out of bounds, and that is O'Connor down to the corner. They give it to Piper Link, and she's going to be forced out of bounds. Great defense by Audrey Bollinger, shutting tried out to, the baseline. Tried to dribble around the defender. Wilson will come back in, and Hunter will sit down. So interesting. Wilson picks up her second, yeah. and she only gets a very brief rest. 30 Even second rest. Croft has been on the bench for a while for Winnemac. And here is Winnemac, a full court pressure again, put on in the backcourt. McCarter has it. McCarter will get it across the timeline. McCarter. But when you get a 5'10 girl who can handle yeah. it, it's such a luxury. We're in that uh, point. There's, well, Wilson just pops it from the free throw line. I was getting ready to say we're in that minute and a half where Coach Burris wants to hold it, and Wilson, once again, just throws up a shot and makes it. That's a good shot, though. We'll good. take that shot. Goodman with the basketball. Goodman double team. Now they give it off to Lamer. Lamer. Looking to the corner. She does. Here's a three ball on the way by Ulrich. Good. Corinne Ulrich with three. 17-13. Under a minute to go. Uh, Pressure put on. McCarter gets a five-second call. Turnover Winnemac. Coach Stasiak thinking about going to his bench. And he will bring Croft back in. Wilson comes out. Also coming back in is... To Smith. Of course, Smith also has two fouls. Yeah. So Coach Stasiak trying to cut and it here even more with 47 seconds to go. That might be the first three-pointer of Ulrich's career. She's not <laughs> known for her shot. They get it in to Croft in the corner. Croft back to Smith. Smith dribbles in, throws it in the corner, and it's stolen by Field. That's nine turnovers this quarter for Winnemac as compared to only two field goals for them. 30 seconds to go before halftime. 17-13, Zebras lead. Here's Clevenger at top. Clevenger against Croft. Now goods it up to the left side to McCarter. McCarter 
Going to be double teamed. She'll dribble out of it. Trying to pull up a jumper at the elbow. Good to foul. And that foul is going to come against Winnemac. Number 25, Ulrich. Her first, and McCarter will get to try to complete the three-point play and extend this lead to seven. Well, Winnemac was not going to let Rochester just sit there with the ball, so they ran a double team at L, and L dribbled out of it, and that made a beautiful move. And I, I still think those two free throws kind of yeah. got her going, loosened her up. 20 to 13, seven-point lead. Winnemac with the basketball. 15 now across the timeline. Here is Croft. Croft dribbles into the paint, throws up a shot. Good. Candace Croft with her first points of the game, and it's down to a five-point lead before halftime. McCarter's pass is stolen by Smith, and then she's going to be fouled in the, in the back, and I believe it's going to get Hunter, and that will send the Winnemac Warriors to the line. And that is on Hunter, her first team fifth. So Maggie Smith will look for her first points of the half on two free throws. 20 to 15, 2.4 seconds to go. Two free throws on the way. Maggie misses the first one. And coming back in will be Bennett. She'll replace Croft so she doesn't pick up that third foul. And Coach Stasiak has a sub here waiting on Maggie Smith as well if she can hit this free throw. Got to box out Lincoln O'Connor. Piper Link also dangerous in the rebound down low. Yes. Smith, second free throw. On the way, it's up and good this time. So a sub will come in for her. Four point zero lead, 20 to 16. McCarter looking to inbound. Smith will go out and coming in was uh, Goodman. Now full court press put on for the 2.4 seconds remaining. McCarter to inbound. McCarter looking, gets it into Bollinger. Bollinger will just walk it up and that will do it for the half. At the end of the first half, Zebras own a four-point lead, 20 to 16 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard here at Rochester High School. When we come back, the halftime show brought to you by Odell Lumber. Again, 20 to 16, Zebras lead. Back with more after this, Giant FM. Right. Clevenger looking to get it in. It'll be Clevenger, Wilson, McCarter, Bollinger and Field, the original five on the floor for Rochester, also the original five on the floor right now for Winnemac and Link, Smith, Croft, uh, Bennett and Pope Joy. Zebra's with it on the going up. right to left on your radio dial. Winnemac will go left to right. McCarter pull up at the free throw line. Now she'll kick it back out. Here is Field down low. She falls down, kicks it back out to McCarter. McCarter running jumper on the way. Good. Ella McCarter definitely having her best game of the year so far. She's got nine. And it's 22-16. I'm not sure why there was no call there. There was either a walk or a foul. Yeah, but it, it had to be it. something. And now Bennett, or excuse me, Smith will be fouled as she splits the defenders. And that's going to be on Wilson. That's going to be her third. Aubrey's going to have to definitely be careful here. She doesn't want to pick up her fourth too early. Yeah, I mean, she's the only one who can play the top on that zone. Yeah. So I think, I think Coach Burris is going to roll the dice and leave her out there. Winnemac will inbound. They get it into Pope Joy. You know, Maggie Smith, I mean, she's got a very quick first step. She made the state finals in cross country for a reason. Yeah. Smith, left side. Smith around Wilson again. Yeah. Kicks it out to Croft. I mean, they call the exact same play. Croft throws it over the top of Bennett, and it goes out of bounds. 7 7 to go here in the third. 22-16. Full court press put on now by the Warriors. Coach Daisy, he, he knows the foul situation. Bullinger will uh, inbound it. Gets it into McCarter. Everybody clears out. McCarter will bring it across to, against Smith. McCarter crosses the timeline. Now she'll look to reverse it. And now Smith backs off. Now McCarter will attack at her. McCarter to Clevenger on the right side. Clevenger goes around Pope Joy down in the corner. Now they try to go to field, and Bullinger picks that loose ball up, and then she travels. 6.41 to go. Turnover against the Zebras. Good defense by Bennett to get a hand on that, but still, I think, just trying you know. down low to get it hard to field. And right. Here comes the Warriors. Croft with a basketball. She'll go to the left side. Now to Pope Joy. Pope Joy then travels. Turnover number 15 for Winnemac. 11 turnovers for Rochester. Now the Zebras will inbound right in front of the Warrior bench. 
Put on full court press by the Warriors. They get it in. Clevenger then gets across the timeline. Clevenger will bring it back up top to the middle. She's guarded by Pope Joy. And Warriors in that man. Wilson wide open to McCarter. She thinks about a three, pass it up. Now at the elbow, running jumper on the way. No good. Air balls it. Field saves it. Clevenger saves it into the hands of Pope Joy. Pope Joy. One-on-one -on -one against McCarter. Throws up a jumper, no good, but we're going to have a foul. The whole thing looked awkward to start with. I'm going to be honest with you, Val, as Pope Joy comes around to try to get it, and I think she uh, stopped a little too early. Pope Joy with kind of a Euro step move. Yeah. And uh, thankfully for Rochester, it's on the floor, so no free throws. Yeah. They inbound. Croft looking to get it in. Into the corner, here to Smith. Now they go down low to Bennett. Bennett, one dribble, throws up a shot off the glass, no good. Rebound fought for. Wilson comes away with it. Wilson will slow it down now and wait on her teammates, and she'll give it back up to McCarter, top of the key. McCarter against Croft. McCarter, pull-up jumper, off the mark, no good. Croft with a rebound. Croft looking to push. Here comes Winnemack, crossover in front of Clevenger. Now she'll bring it back up top. She'll pull up a jumper, 15-footer on the way. Good for Croft. Croft has her second field goal tonight. She's got four, and the lead now is 22-18 as Bollinger steps over the out-of-bounds line. Iverson will come in, and Bennett will sit down. Five and a half to go. Down to a four-point lead for the Zebras, 22-18. Croft is really good off the dribble. She she can hit that pull-up jump shot off the dribble all day. And they give it in to Smith. Now to Pope Joy. Pope Joy back to Croft. She'll fire a three from the right wing off the mark. Link with a rebound. Link goes up over the front of the iron. Good. Piper Link's got eight. Two-point zebra lead, 22-20. Bollinger gets it into Clevenger. Clevenger will bring it across the timeline. Clevenger, top of the key, down to a two-point zebra lead. Wilson, elbow jumper up and off the mark. And Iverson had it, but lost it. Now picked up by Smith. The Warriors look to push. They kick it out to Pope Joy. She's got to go get it. Pope Joy will retreat it and give it back over to Smith. Over the top to Croft. Three on the way for Candace. Short rebound. Comes to McCarter. That rebound, you think a long rebound, but it, it fell straight down and kind of caught him off guard. Here's Clevenger with the basketball. Coach Burr's calling a set here. Let's see what he wants. Clevenger goes right side to Smith. Or excuse me, to Wilson. Guarded by Smith. Wilson trying to go down low to Bollinger against Iverson. And a foul coming. And Iverson's going to pick up her third. Team first of the quarter. Yeah, that was, that was get kind of an overload to get yeah. Bollinger and uh, Wilson on the same side of the floor. Good post entry. And let's see how Audrey can hit these free throws. She was 5 for 6 against McConaughey. Started uh, over 2 last week, tonight. but didn't look comfortable on those first two tonight. Sack. First one good in the second set. Back to a three-point lead, 23-20. Coach Stasiak going to the bench. And Iverson will sit down with three fouls. And coming in will be Caitlin O'Connor. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here tonight on Giant FM, RTC TV4, non-conference basketball. Bollinger, second one on the way, rolls out, no good. Piper Link with a rebound. Quickly ahead to Smith. Smith with it. She'll drive the lane. Smith will try to dish it down low to O'Connor. She does, up off the glass, good. Caitlin O'Connor gets her first points in the contest. 23-22, now just a one-point zebra lead. Good pass by Smith. Wilson with the basketball against Maggie Smith. Now right side to McCarter. McCarter's guarded by Croft. Top the key. McCarter left side to Clevenger. Clevenger drives in. Going to be tied up. It'll be Zebra basketball. Nope. Gonna, excuse me. It's going to be Winnemac basketball. Turnover Zebras. Turnover number 13 for Rochester. Field out and Hottishell in. Just under four to play here in the third quarter. One point lead for the Zebras on the Rochester glass scoreboard. I think that had to do with defense, and yeah. she's going to be taught. Wilson just picked up her fourth with a pass over the top to Piper Link. And now Coach Burris is going to have a decision to make. He looks to the coaching staff and said, what are we going to do? Inbounds coming in from Croft. Wow, she's still in the game. I'm, this is 
Shocking. Link in the corner. Link dribbles in, kicks it back to Croft. Three on the way in the corner, way off the mark. Rebound is picked up by Pope Joy, up and good. Pope Joy has four. The Warriors take their first lead in a while. 24-23, and here's a steal from the pass from the inbounds over the top to Wilson, stolen by Smith. Now to Croft, into the corner to Pope Joy. They get it into Piper Link, 10-footer off the front of the iron, no good, rebound, Hottishell. Hottishell then has it stolen by Pope Joy. Down low to Piper Link, up and no good. Rebound fought for, Pope Joy comes away with it. Here they go left side now to Smith. Smith dribbles in, kicks it back to Croft. Croft, left side, dribbles down into the corner. Now they'll reset. They go to Piper Link. Link kicks it back to Candace Croft. Three on the way for her. Off the mark, no good. Pope Joy with another rebound. She kicks it out to Smith. Maggie will bring it back up top, leave it to Candace. Croft, back to Smith. She'll fire a three. Got it. 27-23, a four-point Winnemac lead all of a sudden. Here's Wilson with the basketball. Aubrey against Smith. Now double team, stolen by Croft. Croft with the basketball. Now three on the way again. This time short, and we're going to have a jump ball. It'll be zebra basketball. Jump ball possession. Ooh, I wasn't sure about that. That looked more like a foul than a jump ball. And I think... Hunter will come in for Wilson. He will sit down at the 216 mark of the third quarter. And she you, has four fouls. If you're Coach Burris, when do you think about getting Field back in for her rebounding? Yeah. Because Winnemac is just clobbering Rochester on the boards this quarter. Hunter gets it over the top to the uh, hottest shell. She'll bring it across the timeline. She's guarded by Piper Link. Now they give it off to Clevenger, who's guarded by Pope Joy. 11 to, key. 11 to 3 Winnemac so far this quarter. McCarter with the basketball, right wing. McCarter looking, they get it down low to Bollinger. Bollinger kicks it back out to McCarter. Three on the way from her, short. Bollinger with a rebound to Clevenger. Three left side for her, no good. Rebound, long rebound, picked up by Piper Link. Link gives it off to Croft. Croft will have it in the backcourt. She'll bring it up the timeline. Well, Winnemac is just, their effort plays this quarter has just been the difference. Smith with the basketball, dribbles in, pull up, jumper short. And the rebound comes away to O'Connor. Top of the key. Now here's Pope Joy, three right wing, good. 30 to 23, a minute 20 to go. Hunter looking to get it in. Hunter's going to have to hurry. And there's a five second turnover. Timeout, Zebras. It's a 60-second timeout with a minute 16 to go here in the third. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Sister High School after the turnover and the timeout by the Zebras. It'll be Winnemag basketball. Coach Burris not happy during that timeout. They get it in to Pope Joy. Now Pope Joy to Piper Link. Back to Pope Joy. Pope Joy has it. Dribbles in. They kick it out to Smith. Smith guarded by Hunter. Smith. Comes to the near side. Now a three on the way again by Ulrich. And no good, but Pope Joy is going to be, she's going to foul the Zebras. But that is only her second, team second. Not a bad foul at all by Pope Joy. No. Uh, only the team second of the quarter. You only got a minute to go in the quarter. And yep. she's only she only had one herself. Uh, again, I'm not sure about the shot selection by yeah, Ulrich. That, that might have been more of the question. She was maybe <laughs> feeling her oats after hitting that three late in the first half. McCarter has the basketball, picks up her dribble in the backcourt. Now has to give it off to Clevenger, under a minute to go. Clevenger gets it across the timeline. Clevenger at the volleyball line, 45 seconds to go. They run another set. They swing it this time left to McCarter. Now back up top to Hunter. Swings it right side to Clevenger. Clevenger tries to go around Pope Joy. She has to kick it back out. Hot shell, puts it on the floor. Knock loose. Turnover, Zebras. Turnover number eight this quarter and turnover number 18 for the game. And coming in, Brody Goodman will come in and sit down, will be Pope Joy with 33 seconds to go. Coach Stasiak trying to uh, keep anybody out of getting major foul trouble because Piper Link will come out and Croft will come in and also coming in is Iverson. 33.8 seconds to go here in the third. Smith with the basketball now for the Warriors. Comes to the near side, down to Croft. 
Croft against Clevenger. Pull up jumper, 10 foot or too hard, way off the mark. Nice rebound by McCarter. McCarter pulls it down, she'll bring it across the timeline with 15. McCarter will hold against Croft with 12. Now down to nine. Winnemack with the arrow. McCarter, free throw line, kicks it back out. Clevenger will fire it, five, good. Riley Clevenger's first points of the quarter. And that'll do it for the third quarter. At the end of three complete on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. It's Winnemack 30, Zebras 26. Back with the fourth and final quarter after this. Giant FM and RTC TV4. High school as we head into the fourth and final quarter. Four point Winnemack lead over the Zebras on the Rochester Glass scoreboard 30-26. Winnemack outscores Rochester that quarter 14 to six. Winnemack starts the fourth with the basketball. They come to the far side now to Smith. Smith with it now to Croft. Croft on that right side. Zebra still in that two three. They go into uh, Goodman in the paint. She throws up a shot and it's gonna be jump ball. Jump ball. It'll be alternating possession back to the Zebras. Winnemack gonna keep the pressure on. It's Hunter, Hottishell, McCarter, Clevenger, and Bollinger on the floor for Rochester. Again, was that play designed to get O'Connor the ball in the post? Don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Good question. I'd be surprised. Um, Here is Hottishell now with it. Top to McCarter. McCarter, left side. McCarter has it knocked loose, picks it back up. McCarter then will reset it and bring it around to the right side. McCarter. Still outside the paint, or you know, the three-point line. Now the give and go to Bollinger. Bollinger down low, battled by Smith, blocked, and the rebound comes away to O'Connor. Great job by Maggie Smith on the defense there. Bollinger thought she had a, an open shot and quickly. Probably, probably giving about three or three or four inches in height. Maggie out of control on that one, just throws it up, and a rebound comes away to the Zebras. Here's Clevenger. Now to Hana Shell. Back right side down to McCarter. McCarter. Ooh, close to a moving screen. Going to have to shoot it and does, and it's short. 16 footer, no good. Now Croft will walk it up the timeline and set the offense. Pope Joy ready to check this in. Is for a good, this is a good idea because the first two possessions this quarter, Winnemac yeah. looked a little uh, not sure what they wanted to do. Goodman back over to Smith, back up top to Croft. Croft fakes a three, now gives it off to Goodman. They go down low to O'Connor and a foul coming against the Zebras. It's going to be the first of the quarter, but Bowling are going to pick up her second. 6.22 remaining, and here comes Pope Joy back in. She will replace Croft for a breather. Huh. I was a little surprised Pope Joy wasn't in there, but I'm a little bit more surprised that she replaced Croft. They get it I, in to Smith. I can't, can't think it'll be too long of a breather for Croft. Now they go down low to O'Connor. O'Connor, left-hand layup up, no good. Throws it up again, gets her own rebound, no good. Rebound fought for, still on the ground. And we're going to have a jump ball. It'll stay with Winnemack. Pope Joy battling in there. Again, Winnemack has just outworked Rochester this half. And we have a timeout for a shoe again. 6-10 to go here in this fourth quarter, 30-26. to Winnemack leads on the Rochester glass scoreboard. Post game coming up at the end of the game. Brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins. And we'll choose a player of the game. Brought to you by the Fulton County Community Foundation. They get it in over the top to Smith. Smith has it. Splits the defenders. Goes left side now. Back up top. They give it to Smith to Pope Joy. Pope Joy dribbles in. Kicks it out to Goodman. Back to Smith. Left side. Hunters all over her trying to cause havoc. Now they get it over to Pope Joy. Back up top to Goodman. Now in the corner to O'Connor. O'Connor has it over the top, back to Smith, or excuse me, Pope Joy. Now to Smith, back to Pope Joy, top of the key. Back to Smith, left side. She'll dribble, elbow jumper, no good. Rebound comes away to Goodman. Goodman down low to Iverson. Iverson goes up strong, no good. Rebound fought for, and Mia Hottishell comes away with it, and she's going to be fouled. And I believe it's going to be on Iverson, and if it is, that'll be her fourth. I think Coach Stasiak has to be... Warriors. Nope, they're gonna call. They're gonna call it against O'Connor. Gonna be her third or her first, first of the quarter. 
Now Piper Link will come in and O'Connor will sit down. Hottishell comes out as Field will come back in. I was saying, if you're Coach Daisy, I think you got to feel pretty good about Iverson getting a look in the post. I mean, that's a shot she's made, typically made a lot. Wilson also in now for the Zebras. She'll bring it up across the timeline. Wilson, top of the key. Reminder, she has four fouls, so uh, she's got to be careful here. Coach Burris needs her to stay in to run the offense. And Popejoy is going to foul McCarter. She goes up for a shot. It's going to be Pope Joyce, uh, third, team second of the quarter. Ella McCarter going back to the free throw line. Ella's got nine on the evening, looking to get into double digits. Free throw on the way. She's got two of them coming. Free throw is up and good. She's into double digits at 10 now. It's a three-point lead, 30-27 for Winnemac. McCarter trying to cut it to two now. It's been almost four minutes since Winnemac last scored. Second free throw, rolls around, falls through. 28 for Rochester. Winnemac with 30. Smith with the basketball. Smith dribbles in, now to Goodman. Goodman drives the paint, leaves it for Iverson. Ball's tripped, picked up, and out. We're going to have another jump ball. It'll be a turnover. Turnover on Winnemac. Good defense there by Jaden Field. And, you know, sometimes you, you get to try to make that bounce pass, but the two players are so close to each other that it's kind of hard to get there, and there's, there's just too much traffic there. Hunter looking to inbound right in front of the Winnemac bench. Hunter, ball's tip. Wilson able to go get it. She'll clear it out and now give it to McCarter to bring it across the timeline. Five to go here in the fourth quarter. Two-point game. McCarter, top of the key. Now to Clevenger. Looking almost a little run, and ju run yeah. and jump there. Here is Wilson with it. Wilson over the top to Clevenger. Now to McCarter. Down low to field. Field right hand layup up and good. Jaden Field with her fourth point of the night, and we are tied at 30. Pope Joy, top of the key, wide open three, got it. She's clutch. 33-30. Zebra's looking to get it in. Full court press put on by the Warriors. It's just a man press, so they'll back it off, and Wilson will bring it across the timeline. She is clutch, and she is fearless, Sadie Pope Joy. Wilson with it, top of the key. She's running that two-double set. They go to Clevenger. Now they give it to Hunter. Hunter falling away, no good. And the rebound comes away to Piper Link. She gives it off to Pope Joy. Pope Joy down the right side. Pope Joy then is going to be tied up. It'll stay with Winnemac. And Candace Croft will check back in for the Warriors. And Goodman will sit down. So we have a 60 second timeout for the Zebras with 4.04 to go here in the fourth quarter. Zebras trail by three. Giant FM and RTZ TV4. Pack here, Rochester High School. 4.04 remaining in regulation here to Rochester Glass scoreboard. Tight, or excuse me, Winnemac leads by three now, 33 30 after a big clutch shot by Pope Joy. Again, just a freshman, but boy, she does not play like it at times. She plays AAU ball, and she was telling me, she goes, All that AAU I played, it really kind of helped me adjust to varsity. And she's also worked with Antonio Penny, the former Logan Sport star, who played some college basketball yeah. as well. Helped work on her game over the summer. And Winnemac gets it in. And then she also said my mom helps me with my shooting for him. So. Pope Joy has it. Now kicks it back out to Croft. Left side now to Smith. Good job, Mom. You've worked. You've done well. Yeah. You've done good. Here's Smith with it. Back to Croft. Croft. They Pope give it Joy to Pope Joy post. at that high post. She dribbles down a couple times. Saves it from going out of bounds. Ball's loose. Picked up by Smith. Oh, kind of a bad break. Good defense yeah. by Field. Now to Pope Joy. Pope Joy against Hunter. Takes a three and then travels, yep. Drug that foot as she tried to reverse the basketball and turnover Winnemac. Turnover number 18 for Winnemac. 18 turnovers also for Rochester. Hunter will inbound, have the length of the field to go. And it's tipped, picked up by Smith. Down low to Piper Link. Piper Link has it blocked, but a foul coming. And Piper Link will go to the line to shoot two. We'll see who they whistle it on. I think it might be on field, and it is. It's just going to be her second. Just a great play by Piper Link to get the ball back for her team. Link to the line to shoot two. She's got eight points looking to get into double digits here. I wanted to thank our friend Jake Ruff uh, because the night you did the Rossville Cast and Girls game, uh -huh. uh, I was at the 
Clover Winnemac girls game. I, I needed to be there. And so he you flip spots. I could be with you, so he flipped spots. Yeah. So I'm very thankful he did that. That all I needed that to work out for me, and it wouldn't have worked out if not for Jake. So Jake's, yeah, Jake's a, always a good guy to fill he in. He's a great, great dude, and he's – Link hits the first free throw. She'll have another one, and coming back in – is Boltlinger and Hunter will sit down for Rochester. Link hits them both. She's got double digits now, 35-30. Here's a pass stolen on the inbounds by Winnemac. Goes up, no good, and another foul. That was Maggie Smith with a great defensive play. Zebra's having trouble getting it inbounds. And that foul is going to be whistled against Bollinger, I believe. And that's going to be her third, team third. And we out of bounds to Winnemac. And Croft will inbound. 3.24 remaining, 35-30. Winnemac up on the Zebras by five. This is big here. Popejoy gets it in, into Croft. Croft, three from the right wing, way off the mark, but Maggie Smith's there for another rebound. Those air balls are unpredictable. And now Croft has it, gives it back to Smith. Back to Croft. Now into Popejoy at the elbow. They kick it back out to Piper Link. Drives the baseline. Throws up a shot. No good. And a foul coming. And Piper Link's going to pick up her first foul of the night. I don't think Coach Stasiak wanted that shot. I think he wanted to run some time a little bit. And Link missed the shot short. And tried to battle for the rebound. Her first foul. Team three of the quarter. Here's Clevenger to get it in. Over the top to Wilson. Wilson and Smith with a run. I don't think uh, Wilson was going to outrun Maggie Smith to get back for that one. Uh, Maggie Smith is the fastest girl in this gym. Here's three for Clevenger. Right wing, no good. Rebound fought for. Field has it and goes out of bounds. It'll be Zebra basketball. Feel that inside position on Iverson, and all Iverson could do was get a fingertip on it. So it'll be inbounding by Wilson in the corner. Wilson, left corner, gets it into McCarter. McCarter against Pubjoy. Five-point Winnemac lead, 2.40 to go here in the fourth quarter. McCarter against Croft. Around the screen. McCarter into the paint, kicks it back out to Bollinger. That was very she, close to a carry by McCarter. She gives it to Wilson. Wilson to Clevenger. Downhill, Clevenger running jumper, and it is short, but if the official says it was touched, it'll stay with Rochester. The official out touch uh, said it was touched. Some of the Winnipeg players don't agree with that, but <laughs> yeah. the guy in the stripes has the final say. Zebras get it into McCarter. Now to Clevenger in the corner. She's got to bring it back up top to McCarter to the volleyball line. From the screen. And we're going to have a foul, and Croft's going to pick up her third. Going to be the th fourth of the quarter for, uh, for Winnipeg. So now they're shooting free throws the rest of the quarter will be Rochester. Let's cross third personal. Zebras will inbound. Audrey Bolling Audrey Bolling's seen a lot of high ball screens here. Field looking to get it in. Field into McCarter. She loses it out of bounds. It was a kind of a pass behind her. She had to try to go get it and couldn't handle it. Here comes pressure now by the Zebras. Croft will inbound. They get it into Smith. Back to Croft in the middle. Croft will handle it. Croft split the defenders, and she'll bring it across the timeline. Down the sideline right in front of Coach Stasiak. Now off to Popejoy. Three on the way for her. Off the mark, no good. Iverson battles, and it's picked up by Link. Up off the glass, no good. Link gets her own rebound, and she's going to be fouled. And that will be the team fourth on Rochester. And we'll wait and see who they whistle it. Is that on Bollinger? It is Bollinger. That's her fourth. And now Piper Link back to the free throw line for two more. Not the greatest of shot selections by Popejoy. No, Piper I think she Link, rushed that one, yeah. Piper Link, her effort has been just spectacular this half. Free throws good by Piper Link. It's a six-point Winnipeg lead, 36-30, with under two minutes to go. Hottishell will come back in. Hottishell will replace Field. Two and a half minutes since Rochester last scored. Put Hottishell out there, and that's a better shooting uh, yeah. lineup out there. Piper Link with a second free throw. She's got 11 in the evening. Make it 12. 
And Coach Stasiak wins a 30-second timeout. Winnemac leads 37-30. Timeout Warriors with a minute 56 to go. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. Free throws the rest of the way. But you've got some uh, key people in foul trouble, and you got to be able to pick and choose who's going to foul. Right. I think with Winnemac, you want to be – is this going to be more than token pressure, or what, a, what does Coach Stasiak want to do defensively here? Does he want to really get after it or just maybe want to bother the inbounds pass? Uh, I think the other the other thing you want to tell your kids if you're Coach Stasiak is run them off the line. You don't want Wilson or McCarter or Clevenger yeah. getting open looks. If they hit a two, so be it. Hot you don't shelf. want threes. Looking to get it in, finally does to McCarter. McCarter will have token pressure by Pope Joy. Minute 50 to go. McCarter will dribble across the timeline. Now gives it off to Wilson. Wilson going to be guarded by Smith. Comes to the near side. Now to McCarter. Wilson sets a screen for Clevenger. They can't get her open. McCarter drives up off the glass. Good. McCarter with her first two in a while, and it's 37-32, and a foul coming against McCarter as Winnemac brings it up the timeline, and that will send Croft to the line to shoot two. McCarter picks up her third, and now Croft to the line. Croft this evening only four points. You might need Braylon Hunter just to commit fouls. Yeah, good opportunity. Uh, Offense, defense kind of switching. Yeah. Here's a free throw by Croft. Good. Six-point lead, 38-32. Minute 28. Here's the second free throw on the way for Candace Croft. It's up and good again. 39-32. Hottishell looking to get it in. Winnemac, no pressure. Looking to pick up at half court. Here comes Wilson with the basketball. And Wilson gives it off to Clevenger. Winnemac kind of playing, is that zone? Like a little bit? Yep. Hottishell blocked by Iverson. Picked up by Piper Link, give it off to Croft. Mia thought she had a wide open, and it sure looked like she had an open shot. Somehow Piper Link closed that out quickly. I think you got a foul if you're Rochester. Smith with it. Now off to Pope Joy. Pope Joy then travels. Yep, a bad pass. Well, under a minute. Winamax won four games so far this year. I think the, the, probably the best of those four wins was when they went at Argus. Timeout, Rochester, I believe. And it's going to be a 60-second timeout. We'll take one as well. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM, RTC TV4. We'll see what happens here for the final 57.9. It'll be Zebra Basketball. I would say Winamax's biggest win of the year so far was at Argus. Uh This might, to beat a 3A team on the road, this might might top it. Trump that one, yeah. They'll get it into Wilson. Wilson will bring it across the timeline. Winamax kind of in a... Zone outside to three, just guarding the three-pointers. Here's Hunter for three on the way off the mark, no good. Piper Link with a rebound, and she's going to be fouled. And Piper Link will walk to the other end to shoot. We'll wait and see who the foul's on. I believe they might get Clevenger on this one. Nope, they're going to call it on Hottishell. It's going to be her second. So that'll send Piper Link back to the free-throw lane. Well, Braylon Hunter is one of your better shooters. I mean, she had a look yeah, there. but She did uh, have a look. Piper Link, I have her with eight rebounds this half. <laughs> That's big. Link to the free throw line. First one on the way. Short off the front of the iron. 45.9 seconds still to go. Winamax first missed free throw of this quarter. Yeah. Uh, they are six for seven this quarter. They are seven for nine for the game. Another one coming for Piper Link. She's got 12 points. Looking for lucky 13. Nope. Not too hard off the back of the iron. Rebound comes away to Hottishell. Now off to McCarter. McCarter has it right side to Wilson. 35 seconds to go. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger, top the key. Clevenger, back to Wilson. In the left side now, Hottishell fires a three on the way. In and out. That thing was down and spit it back out. And Winnemac gets the rebound, and McCarter going to commit a foul. Her fourth, and that'll send Candace Croft back to the free throw line. Mia shot did everything but go through the bottom of the net. Yep. Wow. 
What a shot. Well, good looking shot by Mia. 39 32, 23.6 seconds to go. Nobody on the line for Winnemac. Free and throw for Croft. Good. And also, for some perspective, Winnemac lost by 21 at home to Rochester last year. So that this has got to be really gratifying if you're a Lady Warrior fan as they're about to put this one on ice. 30 second timeout by Coach Burris. 23.6 seconds to go. 40 32, Giant FM and RTC TV. The last four. seven points have been on free throws. Yeah. They have one field goal this quarter, but it was a really, really big one by Sadie Popejoy. Croft will have another one. 23.6 seconds remaining. This time, Popejoy and Smith at the, on the blocks. Second one, good for Candace Croft. 41-32. Zebras get it in. Token pressure put on by... The Warriors just to try to make the Zebras take a little time, extra time to bring it up. Wilson with it to McCarter, elbow. Kicks it back out. Three for Clevenger on the way. Off the mark, no good. Piper Link with another rebound, and she's going to be fouled by Mia Hottishell. And Piper Link will go back and shoot two more free throws. 10.6 seconds remaining. The Zebras are going to drop two in a row as they will stay in non-conference action coming up on a Wednesday as they go back, as we travel back to Culver, where we just were for the guys. And then they'll get back in TRC action coming up next Saturday here at home with Southwood. I thought one of the key plays in that, this game was that three-pointer by Ulrich late in the first half. I mean, Winnemac was not doing him a whole lot. Right. Piper Link makes the free throw. 42-32, now a 10-point Zebra lead. Or excuse me, 10-point Warrior lead. Remember, Winnemac was down by seven when yeah, Ulrich hit that she was. three, and she's not known for scoring so much. I know she'd scored some in the JV. Piper Link hits another free throw. 43-32, 10 seconds remains. Here's Clevenger with the basketball into the corner to Hunter. She'll fire three, and she's going to be fouled. I going to be called against Croft, so Hunter will go to the line to shoot three. Winnemac's shooting foul, number three, Croft. That's Croft's fourth. Raylan Hunter trying to get in the scoring column for the first time tonight with three free throws coming. Raylan Hunter, the fresh one of the freshmen. Free throws good. 43-33. Hunter's got two more coming. I can't imagine what is going through Tony Stasiak's mind right now. Except, well, maybe, yay, we're going to win. <laughs> Second free throw is missed <laughs> by Hunter. But, I mean, he knows, not only does he coach many games in his gym on that other bench, but he knows a lot of the players on Rochester's team. First. Third free throw by Hunter. Rolls out, no good. Iverson with the rebound, and that's going to do it. Your final tonight, Winnemac defeats the Zebras. 43-33 here at Rochester High School. We'll be back with a post game brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. Again, the final on the Rochester Glass scoreboard 43 33, Winnemac over Rochester. Back with more Giant FM Sports at RTC TV 4.